So basically, it's uh, fight week. Um, I was thinking of uh, what I could do a video on, but as I can see, um, Demetrius Andre basically is uh, got the mindset of basically um, this is gonna be a fight where he's gonna be able to show everything that he's never shown in a fight before against a big opponent. He's know a lot of people are gonna be watching, tuning in. Uh, he doesn't feel there's really no pressure on him. There's not really a much pressure on him at all. Even though people are, uh, nobody expects him to do anything. You know what I'm saying? If he goes out there and gets dropped and all that other stuff, it's not really going to be much pressure on him as far as uh, him letting anybody down because people don't expect anything. But uh, the mindset he got right now and the way he feeling about things, if he goes out there and just boxes and relaxes the way he does, it's going to be a lot of trouble for everybody. Because he's looking to uh, win this fight and basically make the uh, 168 division come to him. And it would have to. You know what I'm saying? If, the, if it tried to go around with Benavidez, I mean, it could work. If Benavidez wins, I wouldn't be mad about that. You know what I'm saying? This fight is going to make Benavidez better, but uh, he's looking to aim towards uh, being a uh, top elite at this class. He feels like this is the... Uh, the fight, uh, the person who wins is the top dog. Any boxer rocking around right now that beats Benavidez will be a top dog. So, anybody that says, well, if he wins the fight, you know, a lot of people are not going to give him a chance, but if he does win the fight, he's going to be a top guy out here in the boxing world. Um, I don't know. A win like that just does it for you, especially uh, people are already acting like they're not tuning in to watch the fight. They're definitely going to be tuning in. Uh, most of the top boxers are going to be tuning in because they know they want to set no fight like this. Especially right now. Uh, they'll need 50 million, 60 million. They'll still turn that down. Most guys, a lot of guys will turn down 50 million. So, uh, it just all depends, man. It's a hard fight right here. The guy who, who lose this fight possibly can be looked at as uh, not worth anything to some people. You know, to the casual boxers, you know, uh, the real boxing fans, they're going to appreciate both both, both fighters. But things change when, uh, after a fight, you know, people want the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight, but then they make it seem like whoever lost is just not worth anything. So when you when you putting everything on the line, that's what happens. But uh, that 168 division, it, it's, it's young, and you got a lot of guys that's, Scared to make a move, and Vida is gonna be the first one. And um, if he gets uh, knocked off, I mean, it's not gonna be a lot of choices out there for guys to really run around for Andre. All the excuses gonna go away. It's already a lot of excuses going away as far as him making a fight. You know what I'm saying? If he can make a fight with Ben Vidas, everybody else they just running. You know what I'm saying? I can't really make an excuse of why everybody else don't want to make the fight. But everybody else is running down if they don't accept the fight. That's just all it is to it. I can't really uh, argue with nothing else as far as um, why they don't why they don't take it. And I don't know. I just know at this moment they don't want to take the fight with Benavidez. And Andre's the only one who wants to take the fight. So that right there shows that he's at a different level. He don't got to be mandated and he ain't got to be forced. To, he made the fight. Benavidez has made the fight. He didn't have to be mandated. So it's a lot of things that's uh, going into it. But like he says, though, he has his mindset on um, beating David Benavidez. Andre is a smart fighter. I would give him the edge as far as with IQ. You would have to just overall. But um, he feels like he knows what he can do uh, in this fight. I, I have a fight in mind in my head that... Uh, that I know that uh, this fight will kind of look like. If everybody interested, just uh, let me know in the comments. But I know an old a past fight that's uh, going to be similar to this fight. You know what I'm saying? Exactly how this fight is going to go. It's going to be a very good fight, though. I feel like I haven't seen Andre this com confident in a long time. He's not really... Uh... Hey, he had a certain age, man. He don't care about all that reporter stuff and 
bright lights and all that stuff. That stuff ain't gonna matter, man. Dudes got kids now. You know what I'm saying? Dudes got families, so it's not really uh, all that uh, too much for the bright lights and all that. And that stuff ain't gonna matter, bro. At a certain age, bro, that stuff ain't gonna matter, bro. All that stuff is just glitz and glamour. That ain't gonna uh, really uh, depend on if you're gonna win a fight or not. In my eyes, from what I seen, man, he's not really bothered by none of that stuff. He gonna make the fight happen, whatever happens, happens. And that's just what it's gonna be. All the other extra stuff, that's just the extra stuff for the fans. The people who like stuff like that. But for anybody else, though, I don't feel like he uh too bothered by stuff like that. I feel like that's just for the fans and for the people who watch it who want to say, well, uh, certain things about what they see and how things look. But I don't think people really get too bothered about stuff like that. Not from what I see. But Andre, man, he got, he, he's come a long way, man. He got a lot of things. It's been a lot of uh, people that's been in front of him, ahead of him, and he feel like they're not on his level and stuff like that. And I feel like uh, at this point right now, he's been uh, ahead of these guys. Especially after this Benavidez fight. If the fight's close, I'm still not putting no guys ahead of them. Nah. Especially if it's close. I feel like it's going to be way closer than what uh, Caleb Plant put out there. I just know it is. It's a different caliber of a fighter, man. It's like the same kind of guy. Depends on these referees, too, man. They may not have no real bad referee. They got the same judges from last week. So I don't want to hear nobody talking about the jab don't, uh, the jab don't work. They got the same judges uh, from the secure fight. So if now the jab is a problem, I'm going to have a big problem. Because both of them are going to be throwing the jab, so we're going to count those, too. We've been counting them uh, lately. Guys been throwing little touch jabs out there, so we definitely gonna count these jabs. But uh Andre, he gonna be a threat, man, as far as in this fight, man. A lot of people gonna uh tune in, they definitely gonna learn. Um, they gonna wanna see him fight again. If you don't, I man, you just don't like boxing. You know what I'm saying? You just try to play sides. That's all it is too. Cause um we could have had this fight early in the year already. To be honest, we didn't have to have a, uh, other fights that we didn't already had. A lot of these fights are uh, overdue a lot of years. I want to say Ben did because he's a young age, but these other guys, like Caleb Flint and all these guys, y'all should have been fighting. Y'all fighting a generation under you now. Ben and Vidas ain't the same generation as Caleb Flint. They fighting the young guys now. When they could have fought the other older guys and they could have hell more value but now they're trying to uh run away from the younger guys like you already fought one young guy so might as well fight another one that's why andre like yeah i just i guess i'll fight one of the young guys you know what i'm saying nobody else trying to fight not from what i seen i haven't seen anybody trying to fight these guys really ain't um uh, they're not really challenging themselves like Benavidez and these other guys are. It's a whole different ball game. It's way different when a guy's trying to um, get a win compared to what these uh, other guys, they just want to um, they just want to get a victory on their belt so they can be like, oh yeah, you know, my record is this, this, and this. But well, really, they ain't face nobody on their resume. Your resume might be good, but you ain't face nobody. I mean, as far as the numbers, you know what I'm saying? I'm being undefeated, but there ain't no big names on there. Or no challenger names. No guys that fa fans can respect. You know when you find somebody who uh, fans think is a decent fighter. It ain't got to be a Canelo every time, but guys know. That's why you can't, people, 
people used to say, oh, Morel can do this with uh, Andre and Munguia. You don't hear none of that stuff no more. Because they like, these guys wouldn't even take a benefit as far as they had a chance. It's, it's surprising that a guy who didn't want to uh, sign a fight or challenge himself, it's kind of surprising that now he's fighting Benavidez and everybody's quiet. And I'm talking about how he don't want to challenge himself no more. Now they moved on to he getting knocked out. Now they're doing fight results. They don't want to admit that they, they've they been lying the whole time and they don't know nothing about boxing. Just skip over that part. Oh, yeah, I know I've been lying the whole time and I don't know nothing about Andre and boxing, but... I think he's gonna get knocked out. No, you don't. No, you're hoping he gets knocked out. Hoping and knowing is two different things. Two different things, buddy. I was hoping Canelo would have knocked out Charlo. You know what I'm saying? It did it happen? Did I know he was gonna knock him out? Nah, I bet on the decision and I won. So no, nah, I didn't know anything. Didn't know a thing. That's why I see what I see exactly what's going on. Shoot, Bib will be uh Canelo ain't he and he ain't getting no respect for it, so I don't expect Andre and nobody else to get any kind of respect out of this. People gonna say, Oh, it's a hard, tough fight, da 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 da, you know. Then it's gonna be one of their favorite fights they're gonna go back and watch. I know how people do. I know how it goes. I know exactly how it goes. But uh, the things that he has uh, going against him right now is uh, just himself. You know what I'm saying? Everything else not really a factor. Um, whether it's getting booed or whatever happened, man, it don't really matter. At this time, he already locked in. The pressure's on Benavidez at this time. Benavidez know what time it is now. Benavidez knows what time it is, but he want to challenge himself. He knows what time it is. I got to give respect to Benavidez, man. Benavidez is a real one. Everybody else over there, man, it ain't, it ain't no, man, I can't say it's too many guys like Benavidez at PBC. Benavidez trying to fight anybody. He ain't got to fight none of these guys he don't want to. He can do like Munguita do it just sit back but Andre man he trying to get to that level man and Benavidez hey even with a loss Benavidez gonna get to that level anyway you know what I'm saying in my eyes it's just uh a match that Benavidez is using to get better bro Benavidez gonna be better after this y'all should have got Benavidez before this fight after this fight he gonna be at a whole nother level Andre will too it's going to be a challenging fight. He's going to know where he at. I'll tell you, these two of the best guys fighting right now. You know what I'm saying? This ain't going to be no easy fight. I feel like it's going to be a, something that people, fans are going to respect for years to come, though. They don't respect it now because they can't really see it happening, but it's definitely happening. It's here right now. It's definitely happening now. I don't gotta wait no more. Yeah, I think um, different things happening this year is gonna uh, help Andre as far as giving getting his first match uh, in 168. He can if he be uh, Benavidez, he gonna dominate the whole division. It's gonna be it's gonna be a different ball game. Right? It's not gonna be the same for. Uh, other guys, what guys been trying to do lately as far as um, match up to certain people, trying to avoid certain people, it's not going to be good. He's going to be a top contender. And if they're trying to go around that, it's going to be obvious. And I don't know. The boxer needed any other bad things to go on. I mean, they can let that happen. They can let it happen, but they won't, it won't help them look good, especially after the things we've seen with Tyson Fury. Nah, certain guys getting opportunities. Too many opportunities. And they're not doing anything with them. Wasting time. Taking opportunities away from um, Andre and uh, bringing the division down. 
that division really hasn't had anything happen. Those young guys, they haven't even fought anybody, really. They haven't fought each other. At a certain age, man, back in the day, guys used to already fight each other by now. But they're trying to promote guys. They're trying to have guys become a big name and then have them have a big fight. And then after that, they can be like, oh, he'll fight the rest of the guys now. You know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, Ryan Garcia available. Like, man, these promoters be doing some of this stuff. These fighters, they just want to fight at the end of the day. But it is what it is. That's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.